Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Celine here. Today I'm going to be talking about how to maintain a good self-esteem and how social media impacts us on the day-to-day -day basis. I can say right now as a fact that most of us have looked in the mirror at least once, if not on the daily routine or weekly routine, whatever it is that you look in the mirror, we've seen something about ourselves that we didn't like. Whether it be you had a pimple, or you just didn't like the way your hair looked that day, you thought, oh, you looked really tired, you had bags under your eyes, you don't like your weight, you don't like how short you are, how tall you are, the list can go on and on. But the reason why I feel like we tend to point out the negative things about ourselves first rather than the good stuff about ourselves, like the way you look when you smile, the way you look when you're happy with your friends, is just because it's easier to point out that you don't look that great. It's so much easier to say, oh, I look terrible, than to say, you know what? I look really good today and I'm feeling really confident about myself because if you were to say that oh you know what I'm feeling so great today I look great today I'm feeling positive to someone people are often afraid that it's going to be misinterpreted and not a misinterpreted as in like oh she has confidence but rather she's cocky and self-absorbed that's just the way our society is we're very judgmental people Am I saying that's a good thing? Absolutely not. It's terrible to be so judgmental and harsh on ourselves. And because everyone is so judgmental, we resort to saying, oh, I look so gross today. I look like a hobo. We say all these things. I hear it all the time in school. And I have to say, I do say this myself sometimes too. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I'm perfect. By no means am I perfect. But I'm saying we have to change that about ourselves. We have to start saying things like, you know what? I feel pretty good today, so I'm not going to say I'm really tired or I'm not going to say I look really gross today when, in fact, you may not feel that way. I feel like a trend for teenage girls these days is to be like, ugh, I look gross. And if, for everyone to kind of like agree with you, not really like say, oh yeah, you're gross, but kind of be like, oh yeah, me too, OMG, I got two hours of sleep last night, ugh, I stayed up all night writing this paper, I'm so done with everything. I feel like saying these negative phrases every single day have just been so like so bad on ourselves like subconsciously because later on even if like you're not doing it now it's going to affect you in a negative way i can think of a perfect example of that right now in mean girls i'm pretty sure most of you guys have seen mean girls there's this one scene where um a few of the girls like regina and Caddy, katie katie yeah i haven't watched it in a long time um they were standing in front of a mirror and they were pointing out all of the bad things that they don't like about themselves oh my calves look too big i have such big pores and just they were kind of in unison saying bad things about themselves and katie i'm pretty sure her name was katie right lindsay lohan anyway she was just saying i guess i have bad breath and trying to kind of join them so she didn't feel left out so they wouldn't look at her differently and even though sometimes it's not as extreme today it's still pretty relevant because a lot of people do do this when you're hanging out, like getting ready to go out with your friends, you tend to get ready together. I mean, if you do, if you don't, then that's fine. So what we do today is if we don't like something about ourselves, we might cover it up with makeup, we might tweet about it, we might tell a friend, call a friend and be like, I look so bad, right? And just have them try to agree with you. But really, we should just be taking the complete opposite approach because that's only harming our self-esteem. If you don't, if you're complaining about how bad you look, you're most likely not going to be all confident the next minute. Let's face it, if you call yourself really fat or really ugly like a few minutes ago, chances are in the next hour or later on in the day, you're not going to be feeling that much better about yourself just because you've already put this, um, I guess kind of, you kind of set yourself up for the day by saying, you know what, I look gross today, I'm not going to try. And so you don't. But in the morning, if you were to point out a few things that you did like about yourself and you went to school all happy and being like, you know what, my hair does look good today. You know what, I like the color of my eyes. You know what, I like my eye shape. Or just even, you know what, I like how I'm kind of outgoing. And yeah, I do like participating in class. And if you say all these good things about yourself, later in the day, you're not going to be feeling as worn out as you may have if you woke up and said, ew, I hate what I'm wearing. I hate my friends. I hate myself, and you say all these bad things about yourself, then later on in the day, you're most likely not going to be all gung-ho happy. Am I promising you that this is going to completely change your life forever and make you a totally optimistic person 24-7? No. But I do have a solution for all of you that I really do think is going to help, if not now, then maybe later on if you keep repeating this process, is this. When you wake up in the morning, find at least one thing good about yourself that you like. One thing, it could be as something as simple as something you can't change, like my eye shape, eye color, I like the way my hands look today. It could be literally anything. 
and every single day find one other thing about yourself that you like and do this for a week or two. And I promise you, you will feel better about yourself if you point out the good things instead of focusing on the bad things. So don't try to look for things that you can't change about yourself. Just don't even try looking for it. Because I assure you, if once you try to search for something you know you're gonna find like that, then you're not gonna wanna focus on the good stuff. Now, in addition to keeping a good self-esteem, the social media that we have today has such a big impact on us. And I mean an extreme impact on us. I'm pretty sure every single person here watching this video has seen a celebrity. If not in person, on TV, on a magazine, on the internet, we've seen celebrities. We've seen them with a lot of makeup on, we've seen them undergo plastic surgery, go through drastic measures to change themselves to, I, to have this ideal body image. And when we see this ideal body image 24-7, we may start to look at ourselves and be like, you know what, why aren't I like that? And it seems like a really simple concept, like, oh, of course I'm not like that because, you know, I didn't go through surgery, I didn't, I'm not putting on 10 pounds of makeup to go to school. But when you think about it, you kind of see their images in the back of your mind, even if you're not really thinking about it. But what I'm trying to say is, when you look in the mirror, those things are going to affect you. So next time you look in the mirror and you're trying to see what you can change about yourself that you really like can't change but you want to try to change, don't. Because you are perfect the way that you are. Exactly. Just like that. Whatever weight you are, however tall you are, the way you look, the country that you're from, it's fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Nothing. If we were all the same, we would all be clones and if we all tried to imitate one another, we would drive ourselves insane. There would just be no, no such thing as being different. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down any video suggestions you have for me. And if you ever feel like you need to talk to someone, I'm always here. You can Instagram message me. You can send me a tweet. You can ask me questions on my Tumblr, which is wildlitsdreams.tumblr.com. All my links are down below. Please feel free to talk to me. I'm here for any questions, comments, anything you have. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Bye everyone.